Hey guys, AK47 Master here, back with some more Chrono Trigger, and this is going to be the finale of my Chrono Trigger Let's Play, and this is going to be the team I'm going to be using, Chris, Ayla, R2D2, okay, also known as Chrono, and Robo, as you guys know, this is probably one of the most overpowered setups that you can use, but I need something that's overpowered because I have time and time and time, time and time again tried to do this battle and it just hasn't been working out for me I just don't know what's going on one thing to keep in note if you're going to be using Ayla for this battle give her the prism spectacle it's probably the greatest weapon you could give her or the greatest accessory that you could let her hold on to for this battle I highly recommend it and obviously make sure everyone has the best armor they could be using that should come as no surprise to you Times between turns, the haste helm. Hmm, that might actually be very useful. So I'll give a the haste helm to. Actually, no. Screw. It. Why am I gonna give it to her? Let me give it to. Yeah, let me give it to Robo. Sorry, my R button's not working, so I have to go all the way back around. Uh, haste helm. Yes, let's give that to Robo. That's actually going to be a very useful for Robo. And now let's go and fight Lavos. Amazing, it possesses the DNA of every organism that has ever dwelt on this planet. And so we have the battle against the three-eyed Cyclops Lavos. It's the second form of this final battle. I consider this to be probably the easiest form out of the three. Actually, believe it or not, I consider the form we took on on last episode to be more difficult. Just personal preference, personal reasons. I find this battle to be very easy. I mean, the final boss in general for Chrono Trigger, I find to be easy in general. I really don't consider this to be a very difficult uh, boss to actually, to, to actually take on. And what the Haste Helm does is it halves the time, it cuts the time that Robo needs to uh, wait for his turn in half. So basically, he's going to be on par, if not faster, than uh, Chrono and... Ayla, which obviously are two of the fastest uh, team members in the game. Ayla is probably the fastest out of all of the team members in Chrono Trigger in terms of waiting for her turn. And even with Robo with the Haste Helm, Ayla is almost on par with him. He's a little bit faster, but he, it's, a pre it's a pretty close race. And I'm going to stick to Falcon Strike. It's probably one of the best dual techs you could use for this battle highly recommend it and there goes the right arm I'm going to take the right arm, arm first because it's just overall stronger than the left arm and obviously the left arm will be the next your next target because it will heal the uh, the body of Lavos which is not good and plus when you have when Lavos has both of his arms he will actually uh, uh, his defense will be much higher. So once we take out the arms, his defense will drop dramatically, drastically, which is something I would uh, expect. You know, when you just when you just take out uh, enemies' limbs, obviously it's going to get much, much weaker. For anyone who's played Fallout, would understand that logic. That logic. That logic. <laughs> what the heck? I know I usually have bad grammar skills, but come on, it's the final battle. At least, at least I could actually talk normally. I was hoping, but I guess my hopes were too high. But Chrono is unfortunately uh, confused. I don't know how the heck he got confused since he has uh, Nova armor, which gives you uh, status status immunity. So I don't know how the heck that happens. Uh, let's use Thunder Chomp. Thunder Chomp is actually very useful for this battle. Or at least I find it to be very useful. It does about 3,000 damage, as you will see right there. 3,000, yep, pretty accurate. And pretty pretty worth it, especially for a dual bat, a dual tech. I'll probably, I'll probably alternate between that and between uh, Mega Volt, which is also really, really nice. Okay, and this is pretty much the battle. 
Once you take out the arms, all you have to do is just destroy the body, which isn't that difficult. Now I'm probably going to use a Mega Elixir between here and the next, the next battle, because we're getting pretty low on magic. But I'll wait for our health to go down a bit more. I don't want it to go to waste. Actually, since Robo is the only one who really has really low MP, I'll probably just use an Aether on him and fix that problem right there. And also, for this battle, you want to make sure that all your team members are have decent physical and magical defense. I think Ayla is probably the only one on this team who has low uh, magical defense. She has really high, uh, you know, regular defense, physical, but her magic defense is pretty low, so just make sure you may have some, uh, some battle items like some, some shield spears and barrier spears. Those are going to be very, very effective for this battle. So make sure you have those for the next stage. For this battle, again, it's a joke in my opinion. If you're a seasoned RPG player, this shouldn't be very difficult for you. You're just sticking on the attack, sticking on the offense. Not much of a strategy, I mean, except for the order you take the arms out in. And knowing to take the arms out, you know, that's really, that's really it. But besides that, this is pretty simple. Definitely, ba de I definitely taken on much more difficult boss battles. One being uh, the boss battle from Super uh, Paper Mario 2, Thousand Year Door. The Shadow, the Shadow Queen, she was ridiculous, and that game wasn't even difficult in general. I found that game to be pretty easy up until the boss battle. I don't know, that was just me. Anyways, that's it for Lavos. That was Lavas's goal, storing and analyzing the gener genetic code of every creature on the planet. He aimed to use it all to induce self-evolution into the ultimate form of life. His offensive capabilities are incalculable. My sensors are overheating. I was given life by human hands, but life is life. I am no different from Luca and the others. This planet is my home. And I purposely omitted the Ayla dialogue lines because they are just so broken, I don't even want to make a fool of myself, especially for the final battle. Very epic. Very, very epic. Okay, so this is it, guys. The final form, uh, the final stage of this battle against Lavos. Pretty crazy. So, the first... Uh, you're not going to want to focus on the middle, uh, on the middle, uh, monster. You're actually going to want to focus on the right, the right flying core monster, which, from our perspective, is the left one, right there, the one that's really fra frail that we just took out. Now you want to, now you want to focus on the one on the right, or the left, whichever way you want to look at it. So that's the one that's going to heal Lavos and it will revive, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it will revive that, uh, that right core. And Heavenly Cheers just destroyed Ayla, I'm going to have to bring her back. I didn't expect it to do that much, but oh well. And I, now is when I'm going to want to use my spears on Ayla mainly, because Chrono and... Uh, Robo are pretty pretty set, you know, they don't really need any sort of uh, protection, but Ayla is the one that really needs it because she has really low magical defense. Really, really uh, sad. So let's use that right now. That barrier spear. Okay, he's on Ayla. And now let's use uh, triple kick. Triple kick is going to be one of your most effective physical moves if you're using Ayla for this battle. And I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but this battle uh, strategy uh, depends on who you use for this battle. It really does. Because the strategy in which you should utilize 
to change drastically, even if you change out even one party member from here. Like if I changed, switched out Robo for Magus or for uh, for Luca or someone else, the battle would turn out completely different. Seriously. So just use a group of party members that you feel comfortable with, that you feel you could really be effective with, and it shouldn't. You should be good. It shouldn't be a, a big deal. So pretty much, yeah. Now I am pretty low for I'm pretty low level for this battle. I will admit that, and I feel I should have grinded a bit more before I actually, uh, you know, before I actually took on this battle. But uh, I don't know. I should be good. I don't think I'm gonna get killed. I don't think Lavos will actually take me down. Uh, you know, this form of Lavos will actually take out down all of my party members. I think I have enough experience and just enough. Uh, skill to be able to take him out. And let me use uh, Mega Ether or whatever that was. Turbo Ether, whatever. I'm really mainly going to focus on this right core right here, trying to take this one out. Because if we could take that out, pretty much this battle is, is ours. But it does have a lot of HP, so it will take a while. We're actually. We, we actually might be able to take out the, the one in the middle as well. So they just restored their defense. We're going to want to wait. Alright, there we go. I'm actually I'm actually going to contradict myself and say focus on the one in the middle. But uh, don't forget about that, uh, that, left, that left core. But I believe the uh, Lavos in the middle is actually easier to take down. I think it has less HP overall to take out. So you might be able to take it out, actually before taking out the, the left core. So I'm just going to use a mixture of magical and physical attack, that's probably the best way to go. And as you can see right there, we just took it down, and it's trying to revive Lavos. So if we could take this thing down before it revives, that uh, middle Lavos, and the small one, we could defeat, pretty much finish off this battle, which would be really nice. So hopefully we could do that before it revives. Okay, let's try to do that. But yeah, if he actually manages to revive both the middle and the left core, I'm gonna be pretty pissed that he actually was able to do that. Hopefully we can stop him before that happens though. Up oh, there we go, there we go, Lavos is done.